All right, guys, we're going to start off right where we uh, left off. There's a previous video covering WordPress and then getting into Beaver Builder. But here's what I love about Beaver Builder. <clears throat> now, Beaver Builder, Divi, and a bunch of these other visual site editors are pretty slick. But here's the best thing about Beaver Builder, in my opinion, is sometimes it gets to be a pain to go in here and you have this row with these columns. Then you're going to drop your own stuff in here, like your own modules. Here's what's beautiful. They have page templates and row templates, okay? When you go to rows and you come down to the pre-built rows, what you'll see is there's a whole bunch of information already done. And this is so slick um, to be able to go in and just quickly get site structure up, particularly on basic sites that you're not doing tons of uh, custom CSS or design. So for example, <clears throat> you know, on the header of most sites, you'll do what's called a hero. So there's heroes, Heroes are kind of cool because they're an image with buttons, a call to action up on the top. This is something, you know, tons of people will use this. You take this hero, you drop it way up on the top, and boom, we've got that hero section. I can go in and delete this, but if I come in here and I just click, I can edit easily. I can change that it would be H1. I can go into the style, but if I just want to make quick the buttons, you can always go into the style buttons and remove any styling, remove colors. That's a little tip. Whenever you're doing this, don't style your buttons on the page. Do it in the page or the, the entire site customizer, which we'll get there. But look at this. I mean, to move fast, I just hit boom, rows. Instead of heroes now, maybe I want some content. And I'm able to pop out. So content, I know there's features. So if I want to have like my services pages and then let's say I wanted to do a little call to action or an FAQ a call to action of some sort. So that's my first call to action. Now you'll see the buttons are all different, which is kind of annoying, but you can easily go in and basically you click on them. You go to the, the link on these guys and you just remove all this styling and what'll happen is it'll go back to the way the standard buttons are, which is really cool. So here you'd have to do the button text color to white, but you can go in and edit these so that they look really common. And then you change, you go into the page customizer and change the button. So what's really neat about this, now this doesn't look super great, but I can easily go through and create content, right? I can create pricing tables. I can, there's pre-built content and there's add-ons that you can buy that would allow you to do even more if you wanted to. This is such an easy way to get site structure up. Then from there, you can come into each one and start changing some of what you've got going. So instead of just being this background color, maybe you'll want to do a parallax photo I'll select a photo and now I've got a beautiful background image that will splash on there. If I wanted to go in and add an overlay to it so that it's it's darker, that's what it's called. It's called a text overlay if you're ever going to uh, uh, overlay color. If you wanted to make it, you come here, you select a dark color and then you can Go like that so then it causes that text to stand out better but what you'll see here is you can make you can go quick right which is really beautiful in beaver builder so that's the the most basic when you hit done you can save the draft <clears throat> you could discard it or you could publish it right from there um, another thing to see and so that's the basics of beaver builder right when you're in there you're going to be able to edit stuff um, after you're in Beaver Builder, here's where most of your customization, you go to what's called customize, or if you're in the dashboard, you go to appearances and customize. Now, if you've just been added as an admin and you don't know what you're doing, you won't want to play with this too much. But if you're doing your own site, which I'm hoping a lot of you are, uh, the customizer is really helpful. Really what you want to think about are, what are what's your color palette? What are your fonts that you're going to use? What 
type of layout do you want for your site? What's your logo? And once you've got all of that down, you can come into the customizer quite easily and make some amazing changes that will allow you to have tons of success very quickly. So here you can go in, you get your header, there's a top bar, a regular bar, a header layout. Now I've edited this with a whole other thing called Beaver Themer, but this is where you can change all sorts of information. I'm not gonna dive into that. I don't wanna get into that. What I want you to see is how to edit stuff quickly, okay? So you've logged in, you see some sections to build out. Now let's just say you've been given the assignment of building out your own page. First page, I'm gonna launch Beaver Builder. And what your admin might have done is provided you some templates. And if you go to templates, you go to saved templates. So this is pages, right? You've also got rows and you can have your own saved rows or you can have entire pages, so page templates. And maybe what has happened is you can use the, the template that they've built for you, right? They might have a couple different layouts to make life easy for you. So in this instance, I just made a template of the home page. And then if I want to, I can very easily come in and remove stuff. If I didn't want to have his picture here, I can easily change the picture. I can change the text, the headers. I can go through, change the calls to action. I can add in more stuff. Um, but having this infrastructure, particularly, you know, we used a, a gradient on these from his old site. Having this, and just, I apologize, this site is very basic. This is meant more of a demo, and because it's on it, these dummy URLs, it doesn't matter to show you, but you can come in and easily edit what you want to edit, which is very cool. So if you've been added as an admin to Beaver Builder, I tell you what, this is the easiest way to start building. This is the easiest way to start blogging, or to start building out pages. Now let's talk a little bit about blogging, okay? So I'm just gonna discard this. Whenever you delete or discard, it's saying, are you sure? Um, that's probably one fault that I don't like in Beaver Builders. There's not an easy go back button. You know, you can't hit con Control Z and just undo things really quick. But let's just say you're blogging really. You're, you wanna create a landing page of some sort or a blog that you wanna write that's gonna rank for something. It might not be that you need a giant page like that. If you come into posts and go add new post or plus new here and go to posts, you're gonna be able to add a post. So let's go add new post. And you're able to do quite a few things. So here'd be a perfect example. Let's say that you wanted to home, you wanted to write something about your home rewiring services as an electrician, right? And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna give that title of home rewiring services because you know that home rewiring services is something that people search for. And when you search, maybe you wanna run an advertisement to it so you want a landing page for it, <laughs> which is kind of what we're doing here. Home rewiring is a very important topic for electricians to rank for and to have success. So let's just say we got in here and. Um, you start typing, you, you plan out content, maybe you write it in Word or you, <laughs> you dictate it or whatever it is, maybe you use YouTube and transcribe a YouTube or an audio transcription at rev.com. But as you get going here, you blog, you type information, you blog, you write. <clears throat> and if you do it just in this editor, that's not a bad deal. If you don't want a ton of customization, that's totally fine. So. What you'll see is usually when you come down here, you'll be able to hit plus, or there's a plus underneath it, but if that plus doesn't pop up, just hit add block. And you could add a paragraph, an image, a heading, um, you know, provide safety for your family today. Because I know a lot of people buy these. So now we do a paragraph block more paragraphs, and then let's say I've got a whole set of questions I want to go in here. Maybe I want to do a list, um, secure, you just type whatever. But 
what you'll want to do here is type and write things up, put images in there, make sure they're not huge. You could even embed a YouTube URL. You just put the YouTube, um, you hit block, you search video or YouTube actually. There it was. Boom, you put the URL in there, it will embed it, and then it'll go in there. And then you can preview it to see what it's gonna look like. Now this one looks kinda ugly. Now let's show you the different options that you've got. Okay, let's hit the gear icon here and the dot, dot, dot icon. And let's take a look at the document, not the block, but the document. So was, here's some things that you'll wanna see. First of all, you will be able to come and change the categories. You'll wanna add in some categories here, some core categories to your site. Basically what you're doing is you're trying to organize every blog post that you're gonna have. If you think about it, what if you had 20 blog posts about home rewiring you would want a category of home rewiring. So you'd hit add new home rewiring and you'd hit go. Now you've got home rewiring as a, as a category. But then you also have these tags and tags. Maybe you want to type home rewiring again as a tag, but safety um, old wires. And basically what you're doing is you're adding tags in here because you could click on, you'll be able to see all of these together if you wanted to. It's a way to organize things. So you add categories, you add tags, you come into the featured image. Now this is important. Featured images are important, okay? Every page you have, you need to set a featured image. And the reason why is because it will get used in a number of things. First off, it gets used on my site which <laughs> when I'm recording, it's impacting my ability to use the internet. It's kind of funny. I turn the recorder off and boom, I've got tons and tons of speed. But as you go to a blog post or a blog area, you'll see there's the blog post, but then there's what's called an archive page. And an archive page is where all the blog posts are lined up together. And this is the featured image that gets used. So it gets used here. And then the other thing is that when you share it on Facebook or Twitter, you know how if you just take the URL of this post and you share it in Twitter or Facebook, it'll often show that image. If you set it, most of the, <laughs> most of the common settings, if you put that as your featured image, it'll get shared properly. So make sure that you update the featured image and that will be very helpful. Besides that, one of the absolute best plugins that you'll wanna have on your site. So plugins are like little add-ons within your site that allow you to do things. You want to be careful how many add-ons you put in there. I just have the most basic Beaver Builders, but there's another one that you'll want to put in there called Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. There's a couple other things that work well, but Yoast is an SEO plugin that helps you, it helps put page titles and meta descriptions on your information or on your pages. So you'll want to download Yoast, run the setup wizard, put all your information in there and you'll get some additional editing tools. So hopefully that gives you a basic um, overview of what's going on here and helps you understand just the real basics of what it's like to edit either in the basic editor or in the Beaver Builder editor. I'm Rob Satram and hopefully we help you move upward and forward.